<laughs> so first of all, can you tell me about um, how the casting process went? We just saw like hundreds and hundreds of guys, and uh, when these guys, when each of them sort of uh, on their own walk through the door, you just kind of know that that's the guy. Like they're they're yeah. funny and they're charming and they're they're wise. Like we you hear casting, it sounds like it's this really magical thing. It's very hard to tell, but when someone like Miles Teller or Skylar Ashton walks in, you're like, yep, that's the guy. It's very it's actually thunderingly obvious they're the right people for the role. Kind of going off that, was it easy to film? Was it like one just big party with the actors, or was there a lot more to it than meets the eye? It's there's more to it, but. <laughs> I would love if it was like a big party. That sounds really fun. Even the way you said that, I'm like, oh, that sounds great. I'd love to work on that movie. Uh, no, it's very, look, we, we don't have it. We, it's a very low budget movie. We didn't have a lot of time. So overall, we're just sort of happy we got what we got. But it's definitely, it's definitely work. You, you do a lot of work to make it look easy, if that makes any sense. Um, obviously, coming off the hangover, audiences are wondering whether or not it's going to be similar, whether it's going to be different. Sure. What do you have to tell them? Uh, if you like the hangover, you'll love this. <laughs> That's what I tell them. Um, yeah, uh, no, I, I think I think he's right. Uh, is it similar? Um, we, we we can see similarities, but uh, but I think actually when people watch it, they'll they'll see that it's a totally different movie. Because because it's not The Hangover. It's not in Vegas, right? It's in college. It's in Seattle. It's totally different. <laughs> uh, being a Trojan, I know my fellow students are gonna love to come out and see this. But is it? Family appropriate? Are my parents going to want to see it with me? Is it going to be a little uncomfortable if I do? Are your parents my, freaky? My mom, my mom is here tonight, so I'll tell you if it's uh, appropriate yeah, yeah, talk for your to parents us afterwards. Or not. afterwards. We're, we're about to find out whether it's appropriate or not. Uh, it's prob It's it's fun for everybody. I think. Look, the thing we've worked in R-rated comedy for a long time, and the thing we're always amazed at is like R-rated comedy isn't just for 17-year-old boys. Like your mom, I don't know your mom. I'm sure she's a lovely person. <laughs> you seem very nice, but. Everyone's got a little bit of a darker side, and everyone likes to laugh a little bit. So we're always amazed in the hang. The people who love the Hangover are not just 17-year-old boys. They're like older women. They're older men. They're dudes. Who just like remember, oh, I used to be like that. So I think these movies kind of speak to everybody. Hopefully, not just to like young guys. Everyone's everyone's a little crazy. And what's next for you guys? Are you looking for a movie kind of like this? Are you looking to switch it up a bit? No, I think we're switching it up a bit. We're doing a TV show called Mixology, our first TV show ever at ABC. Um, we're shooting the pilot in like three weeks. And as I say that, I realize we need to do a lot of, we shouldn't even be here, we should be working on that right now. Uh, but somehow we'll figure out how to do that. Um, yeah, it's exciting. And perfect. And, uh, go Trojans, good yeah. for you. Yeah, thank you. Did that, did that just get some audience? Yeah. <laughs> thank you. And not Bruins, by the way, apparently. Have fun tonight. Yeah, thanks.